Hey everyone, Julia from Sunday Sounds here. In this video, we're going to take a look at our song specific patch designed in the style of the song you see on the screen. I'm going to demonstrate this song patch in its original key and at its original tempo. You can change the key you play or hear the song patch in by using Easy Transpose, and you can change the tempo as well. Details on how to adjust both the key and the tempo are included in your download. For this video, I'll be demonstrating the main stage version of this song specific patch. If you purchase the Ableton Live version, you'll be able to use this video to follow along just the same, seeing as the hand positions, song sections, layer ranges, and sound of the patch are the same. In main stage, you'll use your mod wheel to move through the various song sections. In Ableton, you'll use the macro knob labeled Song Section. Be sure to check out the full demo video for this song patch to see all the parts and sections in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. This patch has pads, synth, bass, and arps all triggered in the left hand range, which stretches from here up to here. Your right hand will play a synth lead up high when the song section control is two thirds or above. A glide lead in the mid range of the keyboard. as well as a short synth lead up high when the song section control is all the way down. You'll start the song with the song section control all the way down for your intro, your verses, instrumental, and down pre-chorus. At one-third will be your regular pre-choruses. At two-thirds will be your chorus and your medium interlude. And all the way up will be the big interlude and the final chorus. Remember that whether you're in main stage or Ableton Live, these positions are the same. For the intro, you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and nothing in your right hand. Now you'll want to use your pedal to move from chord to chord, but don't hold it down the whole time. Otherwise the ARP sequence will get off. So here's what it sounds like when you hold down the pedal all the time. Versus using it sparingly. You may have to practice this a couple times, but this will be true throughout the entire song. Now the intro comes back as an interlude later in the song. For the first time you play the interlude, you'll have the song section control at two thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand, just like the intro, but you'll also play a synth lead in your right hand. Here's the right hand. Here it is again, slowly. and you'll play that two times through. For the big interlude, you'll have the song section control all the way up. You'll play octaves in your left hand, and this time you'll play a glide lead in your right hand. So here's that lead. And that will play two times through. you'll have the song section control all the way down. You'll play octaves in your left hand and nothing in your right hand. For the medium verse, you'll play everything the same way as the down verse, although your right hand will play a synth riff halfway through. That riff sounds like this. You'll play that two times total, and that starts halfway through the medium verse. For 
memorize to have the song section control at one third. You'll play octaves in your left hand and a synth lead in your right hand. This synth lead is the same one that happens during the interlude. Sounds like this again. You'll notice that the end of this lead is slightly different. You can play it the same way as the interlude lead if you'd like, but to sound exactly like the recording, you want to play this small difference. Here it is again. The final time you play the pre-chorus, it's kind of like a bridge. It's played slightly differently. So you'll start with the song section control all the way down, You'll play octaves in your left hand and a glide riff in your right hand. Here's what that riff sounds like. The timing of this riff is kind of hard to match between the right hand and the left hand, so I recommend practicing it slowly and then getting it up to speed. You'll also play an instrumental directly before this pre-chorus that is played the same way. So in total, you'll play one time through the chord progression as the instrumental, another time through the chord progression as the down pre-chorus, then you'll increase the song section control to one third and play everything the same way, two times through the chord progression for the medium pre-chorus. Check out the demo to see all these parts in order. you'll have the song section control at two-thirds. You'll play octaves in your left hand and the synth lead in your right hand. This is the same one that's played during the interlude. Here it is again. The second time you play the chorus, everything will be played the exact same way. The final time through the chorus, You'll start with the song section control at two thirds and play everything the same way. And then you'll play the chorus again with the song section control all the way up and your right hand will play the glide lead, which sounds again like this. Be sure to check out the demo to see all these parts in order and how we move the song section control throughout the song. Song-specific patches work best in the Sunday Keys template for Mainstage and Ableton Live. Sunday Keys gives you all the sounds and tools you need to play live worship keys, and all of our song-specific patches integrate seamlessly with Sunday Keys. You can learn all about Sunday Keys for Mainstage and Ableton Live on our website. Thanks for checking out this song-specific patch. I'm Julia with Sunday Sounds, and I'll see you next time.